How do I stop being fat? Sounds like a candidate for some cognitive behavioral therapy. Get help from a therapist and work on the way you cognitively deal with external and internal triggers like the hungry feeling or the emotional eating. You should seek professional help with food addiction. Not diet plans and gyms and friends family trying to help, but professional therapists with experience in treating binge eating and similar disorders. What you describe goes past the level of challenge one should face alone. Try therapy maybe to address the binge eating. I was in the same boat and tried countless things to reduce my weight. After I got diagnosed with ADHD things started to make sense in terms of the unstoppable urge to keep eating. For me it was the sense of fulfillment that resulted in overeating. After countless hours of research, training and practice, I learned myself to eat slower, less and also not acting on my impulses to empty the candy cabinet in the evening. It took some time to convince my brain about the changes, and I discovered that what really made the brain settle was implementing daily workouts. I also learned to take other actions instead of eating when my brain craved a quick dopamine fix. It's the small continuous league steps that makes the big lasting difference. You can do this. I lost 30 kilograms in a year and started from the same place as you are now. Always trying, never succeeded, giving up after countless efforts. But I managed, and even though this might sound ridiculous from a stranger, if I who has been a little fatty all my life and didn't really like any form of exercise can make that change, then so can you. Slightly smiling face. Therapy is a great idea. Another thing could be slowly walking down portions. I'm not sure how stretched your stomach is but I started walking back portions slowly and now I feel full long before I used to. Also check for insulin resistance. I had a hard time not gaining weight until I talked to my PCP and started metformin. First of all we need to address the binge eating. That's definitely psychological and I can relate. Luckily it's a habit you can break with constant discipline, which I did and sometimes that needs to be combined with therapy. No shame. Once that's addressed. Calorie deficit, pay attention to your macros. Exercise find something you love to do. For me it's boxing, bar classes, pole dancing and yoga. I weight lift 2-3x slash week at the gym too. You got this. Slow and steady wins the race. The more time you take changing your lifestyle and habits, the more likely you'll be to keep it off. 68 pounds down here by doing just that. Well, probably starting with being consistent. Realistically, you're not gonna lose weight if you eat healthy half of the day. You probably need to see a doctor and seek therapy to undo those eating habits. You put too much stake in motivation. But motivation is fleeting, as you've experienced. Nobody can stay motivated forever. The only thing that will carry you to your goal is discipline. That means baby steps, a little bit each day. You may be eating too much because you are restricting too much, so you feel super hungry and rebound, then blame yourself. But if you set reasonable goals, you can stay disciplined each day. Honestly in an Adderall or Wegovy script, edited to add you need to work out and gradually change your lifestyle but these will help you get the initial grip and mindset to help pivot that way. Eating healthy doesn't mean you have to suffer from hunger. If you eat an apple and you are still hungry, you can eat another apple, plus two oranges, plus two bananas, and that's still less calories than a fast food burger. That's at least 3x the food, so how could you be hungry after that? Eat your salads without dressing because that more than doubles the calories. Drink water and maybe milk but never soda. I've been fat since the second grade. Last year I got gastric sleeve surgery and have so much more energy, less pain and I'm overall happier and healthier with losing just 50 pounds so far. I had told myself I'd never get the surgery but with all the times I've tried to lose then to regain weight and the peak of my weight being 375 I knew I had to do something. Have you tried therapy? 
not specifically around your eating but just in general. In my experience a lot of people who can't stick to a plan are that way because food serves an emotional need. Or in some cases people with ADHD need the dopamine hit of food. In situations like yours and mine it's not merely a logic willpower issue. First off stop blaming yourself. Just like alcoholics unable to control drinking, some people have trouble controlling their eating. We're not all the same. My advice would be to get on one of the GLPT weight loss medications like Ozempic. Calories in less than calories out. My fitness pal is you friend. Overeaters Anonymous really helps with addictive emotional eating. Food can be like any other addiction. I LL stop tomorrow. I LL just have one. It LL be different this time, etc. In Sundays you make food. Healthy food. You make it so you have one two portions per day. Whenever you hungry or want to order, go to the fridge, pop it in the microwave, eat, then you won't feel the need to buy. So, take this with a grain of salt. The key is being okay with being uncomfortable. Take a meal during the day and miss it. Don't overeat the next meal to make up for it. Just miss that one meal. Feel the hunger. See how it's mostly an annoying and uncomfortable feeling. Do this process a few times and hopefully you'll make the mental connection that hunger is mostly just an annoying feeling. It's okay to be hungry sometimes. Solve your psychological, emotional, life stressors first. Motivation can't come externally. It needs to come from within. The equation is to burn more calories than you consume, but you probably know that. Good luck.